So I changed the oil and I used this stuff. It's the first time I've used Maxima Premium 4. It's non-synthetic. However, it met all of the requirements in the Suzuki manual. So I put it in the motor, I liked it a ton. I mean, it was smooth, it was silky. Uh, my transmission shifting, it's never been smoother. It, it really is, or at least it felt like a great oil. So I'm not sure exactly what happened. I've read a little bit about oil evaporation, um, mixing synthetics with non-synthetics. I don't know what the deal is, but the other day after 700 miles of, of riding, happy riding, uh, I felt a little more vibration than normal. And so I checked my, um, my glass here and it was uh, down about half a quart. Uh, so I immediately drained the fluid. I mean, I saw no smoke. I've seen no drips, nothing. No idea why this happened, but it panicked me. So I drained the fluid. As you can see, the pan underneath still. Uh, this was two days ago. And I uh, started doing research. I, I checked it first. It smelled great. Uh, the oil felt fine. There was no grit. There was no residue. I even checked the, uh, the magnet here uh, with a white cloth. There was the tiniest little bit of gray residue on it, but... Nothing severe. Um, so anyway, uh, going from synthetic to non-synthetic is a potential problem. Uh, I really liked the way this oil felt. It shifted better than ever. Uh, but I've now ordered, after some research, uh, AMS oil. AMS oil, full synthetic, 10W40. And it's had uh, really good reviews. Uh, I also found a technical article from 2006 where it exceeded and beat every motorcycle oil out there um, and uh, for performance, for heat. Now, I know this was 2006, but it was the only thing I could find. But I guarantee you this is going to be better, I think, than this stuff. Now, it's possible I have uh, engine damage, but I won't know until I put the AMS oil in and see if it uh, performs well. So this isn't a how-to video. I just want to give you the heads up because I really think it's important to share uh, your experiences with your bikes. And if you got anything to teach others, man, it sure is helpful. I know it's helpful for me to watch YouTube videos. Uh, also, um, these guys already have my heart. You know how I like stickers. Amsoil sticker. I've got motorsport.com. I've got Revzilla, sport bike track gear, high flow, oil filters. Um... STG, I said that already. Uh, so now, AMS oil. We also got the gratuitous airlift uh, sticker as well. But hey, uh, this is going to go on the board because it deserves it. Hopefully it's a good oil. Otherwise, I'll be ripping the sticker off. We'll put it right here, front and center, just to remind me to buy synthetic for this bike. I think Maxima is probably a good oil. I don't think there's a lot of people that rave about it. The reviews were fantastic on this stuff. I think it's the wrong oil for this bike. Uh, and that's it. I'm, I'm not going to say it's a bad oil. I think it didn't work well. Or it has something to do with going synthetic to non-synthetic. Um, I don't know. I hope my rings aren't damaged. And uh, hopefully there's not, nothing more severe. Uh, we'll, we'll put it in and see what happens. Uh, and then uh, I'll... I'll t uh, tack on a little rider review on the end of this. Uh, so um, give you some feedback as to how it feels in comparison to the Maxima. It is noticeably quieter. The engine noise itself, the rattle itself, <clears throat> is noticeably quieter. Wow. It's actually quieter. Mm. I don't smell any oil.
Man, that's nice. Wow, I really hope it uh, drives as nice as it sounds right now. Wow. Wow. Ham's oil, huh? I'm excited. I got I got some serious expectations here, but at the same time, I want to be realistic. You know, there could be something else going on here. But if an oil change fixes this, awesome. Off we go. Clutch engagement feels good. That click in the first gear was smooth, just like the Maxima. Man, it's. Definitely smoother. So just on the slow jaunt here, a um, couple things. I mean, when I first started it, it it sounded weird. Uh, I'm, it was not the typical engine noise I'm used to hearing from this thing uh, because it was so much quieter, less valve train uh, clatter, and uh, I don't know the whole tone of the running engine, not the exhaust note, but the engine itself the mechanical engine was quieter so that's a good sign I would assume uh, it now, I haven't ridden in uh, three days this is the third day actually so like two and a half so it feels quicker <laughs> it could just be my brain but it feels like it's revving quicker less friction less rolling resistance Transmission feels great. I just shifted a couple times there. We'll see how it does uh, when I get on the road, when I get on the pavement. I mean, it sounds absurd, but it actually feels more responsive, more uh, smooth when I engage fuel. Just touching the throttle and I've got forward momentum in a way that I, I, I don't think it was the same. I feel like I'm making more power. It sounds ridiculous, but it actually does. So far, I like AMS oil, but hey, I liked Maxima too. And this, this stuff feels fantastic in a different way. Um, the Maxima felt uh, thicker, like a heavier, thicker coating. You could actually feel it in the way it responded in the engine the way you sh the shifter felt this feels instead of overly butter it feels precise uh, I can feel the the clicks they're smooth oh yeah it feels really good but it's not as dull or as um, pillowy Feels good. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> Feels pretty stinking good. <laughs> of course, I've been driving a car for three days. Imagine that. Ah. Glad to be back. So the real test is going to be, uh, let's see, 77.86 is my mileage. I'll just keep an eye on the fluid level and uh, the oil level and just pray there's no em engine damage and uh, it really was just an oil deal. Uh, there was a guy in a forum with a Jixer. He did the opposite. He went from a non-synthetic to synthetic and was burning oil went back to the non-synthetic and stopped burning oil so maybe there's something to uh, the way the motor 
brakes in or the way the oil coats. Heck, I don't know. Or it just was that Maxima stuff was not fit for this bike. Hams oil feels good. But, you know, honestly, it doesn't feel any different, I don't think, than the Maxima. And who knows, how could I feel that, right? I'd have to have a pretty scientific butt. Right now the butt's saying that this oil is very smooth, very precise. The bike's running great. have the same super ultra tiny tiny little harmonics that I can feel uh, that I did with the uh, other stuff with the Maxima so I guess I'm just happy I've got the synthetic in it takes that question out of the equation and allows me to just move forward and see if there is a more serious problem bicycles whoa You know, I just realized I don't have my glasses on. That's why those guys were a blur. I was in a hurry. Hey, it's getting late, but hey, uh, thumbs up for the sticker for the AMS oil. Uh, two thumbs up for the AMS oil because it feels great. Um, and the two day shipping was nice. But I'm gonna come back around and I'll let you guys know in 700 miles or sooner, because that's how long the Maxima took before I noticed the level was low, and uh, report in on oil usage. If it goes down, uh, then we have some more serious issues at hand. But man, the thing's running too good. It's not puffing, it doesn't smell oil. Oh, you know what I gotta do though? Check the uh, the little sponge inside the air filter to see if it's all gummed up. Because if that oil was vaporizing, I should have a lot of residue. And I just cleaned it. It was spotless in this last oil change. So we'll take a look at it. All right, that's all I got. Uh, AMS oil good. Hey, it's synthetic. Uh, and it's... Uh, smooth what more can you ask for see you in 700 miles